What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and we are taking a look at the new Neymar. So a lot of people asking me about this new Neymar. You get him for free. So they're practically giving you a free Neymar card today, the 21st of September. So he goes to a 95 overall as an SS. I definitely think his best position is AMF and I'll show you why. Because of his speed and acceleration. Spoiler alert, it is because of that. But anyway, we're going to claim him here from our, from our inbox and we're going to show you a couple of little bits and pieces with him as well, right? So we do have him signed. He is going to be a free player for us if we do want to get him there. I just noticed that my webcam isn't on, but not to worry because here I am. But anyway... SS for Neymar is a good card, but I don't think that he's going to be one of these guys that you fit in, right? A lot of people will ask the question, oh, what's this 96 rated card look like? What's this 90 rated card look like? It all comes down to personal preference, how you play with the player, and genuinely how good he can be as a specialized player. I think the one thing that they've made very, very clear in eFootball 2024 with the boosters is that certain players need to be specialized in their role. Like DMF, CMF, very important left winger and right winger not as much once you have a bit of pace and speed um but for the other players there is going to be different ways of building them up right so you will notice here with neymar you can give him additional skills he does have double touch he does have flip flap he does have marseille turn no look pass he doesn't have one touch pass he doesn't have soul control so um he's going to be a little less um than he than his standard card not his standard card but his standard card that was in eFootball 2022 and 2023 right his dribbling is incredible straight off the rip, but look at that pace, man. That is 63, which is very, very poor, right? So we're just going to go over really quickly here to eFootball DB, and I'm going to show you his stats, right? So this is him boosted up. This is essentially a left wing option. So we've got 70 speed. We've also got 10 into dribbling and dexterity. Uh, and 7 into lower body so we've got 70 speed and then 91 acceleration with 94 balance 97 dribbling 94 ball control and 95 tight possession 78 finishing so depending on whether you like to pass a lot or finish a lot you can actually add whatever you want there you could uh, even add another one into lower body if you want to get that but yeah you're going to be using Neymar essentially as a super sub if you put additional skills on him as a super sub or else you're going to be using him for the first maybe 60 minutes of the game and trying to you know do his tricks and just have his brilliant dribbling because he is very overpowered dribble wise but the rest of his cards that they have released before are outrageous like if you even look at this player of the week here and that they released a while back when he was at psg um this was a good bit back he had you know 76 speed that was there that's a far cry even from this 70 speed version of him now you can have different versions of him but i will show you comparisons between him and a couple of the versions i have which makes it kind of the point of this is that this card is really geared towards newcomers so this is a second build of neymar here right so i would say that this neymar here is a nice build this is a nice build of him right now depending on where you want to go with him after this I would say the base that you're going to be looking at is going to have 8 into passing, 8 into dribbling, and 7 into lower body, 4 into dexterity to get that acceleration up to 85, but more importantly to get that balance at the 88 mark there. And then also from here, you can decide where you want to put it, right? So for shooting, if you do not shoot at all, if you literally do not shoot with your attacking midfielder, do not even waste any points there. Instead of going 83 with the finishing there, just take them completely away. If you're, listen, you're probably going to get maybe at the most two chances with your AMF a game. So you need somebody that if you do score, and if you're looking to score from an attack and midfielder position, you need somebody that has got probably higher stats than this, you know? So I would probably get rid of the shooting altogether unless you are a very good shooter and you use a lot of long range drives or you use the um, outside curler or anything that you give here. And this Neymar, I think, is the perfect attacking midfielder to learn the mechanics of eFootball 24. And he does need one touch pass onto this card or else low lofted. So if you do give him those player skills, you don't need to go that much higher with the lower pass here. But I would probably boost up either his dexterity maxed out to put another four into that to get the maxed out acceleration and balance. And then pop one more into lower body. Or else I would probably take away some of the dribbling. You don't need all that dribbling and get one more into that there. And then obviously bring up the finishing if you wanted to go as well. So there's two different builds of him. He is down as a creative playmaker. Now, let's get on to the problems with this card, lads. And there are quite a few, right? Most notably, it's going to be 
The biggest problem with this card is that if you've been playing the game for a long time, such as I have, let me just show you the problem that I have. And especially if you're recommending these cards for newcomers, these cards are aimed at newcomers as an entry point that you can literally download the game in the next 10 minutes. You'll get a free name art that you'll be able to build your team around with for the first five to 10 hours of the game. And that's brilliant for newcomers. But for me, who's been playing this game for a long time, let me show you what I am facing here in terms of getting a free name art. All right, so you're going to see here, this is the new free name art. Now, granted, we haven't trained him up. We haven't trained him up here, but look, this is what you're going to be facing when you are coming up against different versions of Neymar that you haven't had a chance to spin for before, right? Now, obviously, contracts will come into situations like that, but this, these are the three different Neymars that I have. So when you do a quick comparison here, you're going to have Neymar who goes to a 93 to 94 on the left, who's down as an attacking midfielder here. Um, very, you know, similar or whatever. And then you're going to have the Legend Neymar. So that's the Legend Neymar card that you have there. Um, that was the Ambassador Pack that released over a year ago now. But just look at the difference in the stats here. You've got 92 acceleration to 85. Even the maxed out version of Neymar that we have here when we train him up, his maxed out. If we just tr throw nothing into passing, nothing into dribbling, and nothing into shooting, and pop 10 or 11 into dexterity, and 12 into that. Hell, if we just even put 17 into lower body, we're still only going to max out his speed at 80. So that's going to be a big concern. If we max out his dexterity, we'll get, to, get it to 98 or whatever, right? But for the other version of Neymar that we have, if we're going to be building a balanced one, these versions of Neymar that they have released are just way more, you know, they're just way better. Like this guy has got unwavering form, the one on the right. He also has one touch pass. He also has a couple of other bits and pieces to him that you can give him, right? So I do feel like that even though the contracts are going to be expired on these players, we've trained this Neymar up perfectly to suit us, okay? Now, the other version of Neymar that people probably will ask about as well is this one, right? So this is the free version of Neymar or the Showtime version of Neymar that they gave, which was free. Um, and again, another fantastic player. You can see that he does still have a bit of issues with the speed and the stamina. So he does go in line with this card that you can still get it up. But the stamina and the speed are still way worse on this new card. So as I've said before, right, this Neymar card, if you were just playing the game, it's a brilliant card to be able to base your squad around with. Messi is the same issue, but if you are not using these cards and you're not learning the mechanics of the game with these cards because you've got better attacking midfielders, there's so many better options out there that you can really dominate with compared to Neymar. Yes, Neymar is fun to use. I would throw him on the left flank or else bring him on as an attacking midfielder as backup for Messi, the free Messi you would have got, or else somebody that you have. But like with my squad that I have here, I'm practically stacked. Like my squad is completely stacked here. I've got so many players in so many different positions that it's going to be difficult for me to give this Messi a real good chance of getting into my squad. For newcomers, yeah, brilliant. You can build your squad around him. But the standard version, you don't need to buy the standard version of Neymar. I feel sorry for people that would have spent 200,000 GP starting out on Neymar. I know a few people did because they were asking me for builds. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. I would like if you could add boosters to these cards, you know, and you could add Messi stats or Neymar stats better. But let me know what you guys think. It is a win, obviously, because it's a free card. But yeah, for now, I wouldn't recommend even training Neymar up if you're light on trainer points or trainer XP. There are better options in the attacking uh, midfield position in the GP marketplace, such as Nakunku, who is probably the best attacking midfielder that we have. And I will be doing a best attacking midfielders for all budgets video as well. So make sure you check that out. But until next time, lads, don't forget to like the video if you liked it. Let me know your thoughts on this free Neymar in the comments below. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. We'll be back soon. Peace.